In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get some looping A-gap pressure right through the A-gap at the quarterback in Madden 22. What's good guys, my name is Cody and I just wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're the first time visiting my channel, uh, my channel is designed to help you become a better Madden player. And so if you're looking to get better at the game, we do videos like this every single day to help you become uh, a better Madden player. And to be quite honest with you, it helps me become a better Madden player as well. And so one of the things that I did want to point out is we just released a brand new ebook over at my Patreon page. By joining my Patreon for just $10, you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. We've got over 28 ebooks available to you over there. And the one that we just dropped was the Big Nickel Over G. And the Big Nickel Over G has been probably a major project in the works for the last three years. And I feel like I really have something uh, with this defense and just how well it can really do against a lot of the meta. And not even just the meta, but really anything. You have the ability to play match coverage, you have the ability to play heavy blitz pressure defensive style. You have the ability to have several different types of blitzing concepts that I think are really, really effective in this year's game. So if you want to check that out, I'm going to put a link in the description to the Patreon and you can go sign up for just 10 bucks, get access to all the eBooks. The setup today is actually a really simple one. We're going to come out in the weak safety blitz three. And all we're going to do is we're going to show blitz and then we're going to use this guy Savage and we're just going to stand right about here. I like to blitz him like straight down and we're just going to run down for just a little bit. And what you'll see is if it, you're going to get some kind of disengage. It might not come immediately through the A-gap every single time, but a lot of times it will. And so you'll see right here, just kind of come through. You see it slip right through the A-gap at the quarterback. This is the pressure that I like to mix in just to kind of make them feel the reality of the big nickel over G that this doesn't really look like a lot of pressure can really come, especially off the left side. And the next thing you know, you're getting A-gapped and edge rushed right down the middle of the field. Now, um, real quick, just want to show something with this. Um, we know in this year's game that blocking a running back just out of standard passing play, not always the best formula. You'll see with this, though, it does do a decent job of picking this up. It's going to force them to block somebody, but this is kind of one of those pressures that you want to sneak in. You know, when you know they're going to send five out, you can have hard flats on the field here. If you want to move this guy down in the box to kind of help with that, you can. But a lot of times, this has just been my experience, I get a ton of really great A-gap and edge rush. As you see right here, it's a real simple pressure. We're not doing anything. Literally, you don't even have to show blitz if you don't want to. If you don't want to show blitz and you want to run it like this, be my guest. A lot of times, it'll still come through the A-gap. Um, it'll definitely come off the edge if it doesn't come through the A-gap. So again, just wanted to drop something really, really simple for you that I think is really, really effective in this year's game. Something that a lot of people are sleeping on with Big Nickel is some of the A-gap stuff that we can get from this. And then I wanted to show you one other thing that you can do. So if you show Blitz, the one benefit to showing Blitz is it just gives us a consistent alignment. This guy's gonna be in about the same spot, but we're just gonna slide him off the edge and put him on a uh, contain. And then we're gonna come back over here and Blitz our user just like this. What this does is it can help our edge pressure be a little bit more consistent in the event that they block a running back. So if they do block a running back, you'll see right here, um, if I move this guy off of the edge just a little bit so that he's on the contain, and then I'm just gonna pass commit, a lot of times he will actually come in around the edge if they block a running back. As you see, you get this kind of super contain loop that is really good out of big nickel. It's one of the things, one of the many reasons why I love this defense because they can't really get away with just blocking a running back on us. I'll show you, show you that again here. And you'll see if they block a running back, that contain is going to loop around every single time. It'll just auto warp into that coverage or into that blitz. And you'll be able to get pressure um, against that. Now, if they don't block a running back, let me show you something real quick. So if, let's say they don't block a running back. If they aren't blocking anybody, um, you'll see that you still have that A-gap coming through the middle. So that's a simple little adjustment that you can make if you wanted to kind of help your A-gap pressure be in edge pressure in the event that they block a running back. Because most people, that's what they're gonna do. Now, if they block a tight end, um, you'll see right here, so I'm gonna block my tight end. Um, occasionally, that edge rusher will still come in, but blocking the tight end is probably the best way to be able to pick this pressure up. But I will say there's other pressures in our ebook that we go over that will get you consistent pressure 
against a block tight end. Let me show you this real quick. You'll see again. See how these disengages. One of the guys is coming free no matter what they do. And that's what's so good about this. Um, and then, like I said, if they do block a tight end, it can uh, give this a little bit of problem. But at the end of the day, um, there's a lot more that we have in our ebook that will equip you to get pressure even if they block their tight end. So you can see here, and we still have pretty good coverage. Um, we have the hard flats on both sides. We're just kind of dealing with the, the standard flooding concepts or whatever they're going to do to us. So anyways, that is the weak safety blitz one or weak safety blitz two. You could do this out of any of those plays. Um, I think the three, the blitz three is just the safest. And you see you're getting, I mean, it's just crazy how fast the pressure comes in. They're going to have to block their tight end to pick this up. And what that's going to allow is it's going to allow them to only use two receivers on the right side of the screen, which can allow us to just man up the slot maybe and you know play a little cover two or something like that to the right so you see here we might do something like uh like this if you will and then on the left side you know we could do something like this really underrated coverage defense right here for bunch right here and then what you'll see is this outside quarter on the left will match that receiver and you see he'll play really good man to man so thanks for watching the video if you want to learn the rest of how to run this defense it's probably the fa my favorite defense that i've put out all season long there's so many little things that you can do with this uh, to make this defense even better and you see how consistent this pressure is it's very consistent literally all you have to do is stand in this gap and hold left trigger and it will come in almost every time it doesn't always in that situation because if you don't show blitz or you don't blitz your guy it's a little bit less consistent but we're talking about 80 percent of the time you can literally get pressure by basically just standing right in between these guard and center you run down and you see that he gets you know in the a gap thanks for watching the video if you want to learn more about the defense join our patreon it's only ten dollars there's a link in the description if you want to sign up for that so just head on down to the description below and uh, you can get signed up for the membership